Zagaravia, the fallen city, the land of no return, where darkness won and we demon hunters lost. One year ago, a plea for help summoned hunters to Zagaravia. Many answered the call. No one returned. I thought Adrian dead, until a raven delivered his message. He too summoned me to Zagaravia. He saw what I seek. Adrian is a friend. One of the precious few I have. And the only man who knows of my past. Of the pact I made. And the demon powers I wield. Whatever haunts this cursed city, I will face to find my friend. The city is eerily quiet. Not a human soul in sight. Monsters have claimed the streets. Dim lights shine through the dusty windows. I wonder what horrors hide behind them. I sense something hidden. Something far more sinister than the monsters. Something faint. Like a whisper in the back of my mind. Hello? Who goes there? Hello? Can you hear me? A voice in my head? What else? If you can hear me, jump now. Come on, jump, 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 jump! Okay, I give up. I know this place. You're getting closer. Come on, open that door. Oh, watch out, Hunter. Those dummies look tough. They outnumber you. You should consider retreating. <laughs> Look at those dummies. Oh, a demon power. Where did you learn to do that? Hmm. Anyway, come. Meet me in the next room. I'm trapped in that box. Come on, break it. Wait, that's not me. Oh well, I must be in another dungeon. <laughs>
I sense something shiny nearby. Let me give you a hint. It's bigger than a spider, but it is also full of treasure. And it is sitting on top, looking down at you. Seriously, you give up on the treasure? There's something about that voice. Something I can't quite place. I've fought and slain many monsters in my line of work. survivors after all this time. Castle Zagora still stands, a refuge from the horrors outside. I'm Damien the Alchemist. I can help you with useful supplies, like potions and bombs, and you can help me. Welcome to Zagoravia, Hunter. Thank you for answering our summons and bringing your sword to our cause. Soon we will push back the enemy. If you hurry, you will be rewarded. Your Majesty, I would gladly see you to safety. It is not safety that we want. We are going to win this war and free my kingdom from the demons. No further help is coming, Your Majesty. What brought me here is the fate of a fellow hunter by the name of Adrian. You may believe no help is coming, and have given up, but we stand strong. Thank you, Your Majesty. The Queen is strong-willed. It must be how she got this far, but it changes nothing. The city is overrun. I'm back. You miss me? <laughs> I know you missed me. Now that I think about it, we weren't properly introduced. You can call me Voice. I'm currently without a body. So, this seems to fit. Now, what should I call you? John. No, you don't look like a John. Victor? Well, that's just stupid. Yenadi? No. That doesn't suit you either. I know, I'll call you Vicky. Yes, that seems to fit perfectly.
I sense something young and delicious up ahead. I'll go and introduce myself. Don't be jealous, Vicky. I'll be back. <laughs> And here I thought I was the last living hunter in this damn city. Victor Vran, just arrived. Don't plan on staying long. <laughs> That's what I said when I arrived a year ago. Yet, here I am, still killing demons and trying to make sense of what happened. Do you know a hunter by the name of Adrian? I've heard of him, but we never cross paths. The only hunters I've seen recently lie lifeless. You could check the crypts. I haven't been down there for a while but I wouldn't get my hopes up. Trying to make sense of what happened. Hmm, she has another reason to stay here this long, I'm certain. Irene paints a bleak picture. Zagoravia is lost. The smell hits you right away. Not the stale, dry smell of a tomb. No, this is another all too familiar smell. The smell of rotting flesh. Another dead body. Could that be Adrian? One of ours has fallen here, but it isn't Adrian. I will cleanse this tomb so you can rest in peace, brother. The death of a hunter is like the death of a brother or sister. We mourn and raise a toast to celebrate the deeds and lives of those we lose.
over here! Help! Oh, thank the gods! You came to save me! I was, I was on patrol with some of the hunters to carry their provisions and, and trophies. We were attacked, and I, I made a, uh, a tactical retreat. You just ran and left the hunters to die? Well, y you see, I, I, I'm, I, I'm a coward, and that has kept me alive in this hell. I, I was sure that someone would come along to rescue me. So, so the coast is, is clear? C can I get back home? Even a coward's life will feed the evil brewing here. I've cleared the way to the castle. You can go. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! Adrian is a skilled hunter, but can he survive this place? And why would he keep fighting for a lost cause? You know, I used to be a hunter like you. Until I took an arrow to the knee. Wait! I smell something hidden. Treasure. Come on, Vicky. Go get it! Sense it nearby. A treasure chest filled with shiny, shiny loot. Come on, search. I know you want it. Oh, who's that glowing blue fellow? The day is done, and the darkness falls from the wings of night as a feather is wafted downward from an eagle in his flight. Wait, don't go! Was it something I said?
keep people out or to keep something in. Have you changed your mind, Hunter? Will you join our fight? The city has lost, Your Majesty. You should find a way to safety. Battles are won by brave and noble men who see beyond their own immediate needs. In time, you will realize that we have no other option but victory. I seek permission to enter the Royal Crypt, Your Majesty. These are difficult times, and we need every man. Victor ran through the dusty corridors of the Royal Crypt with a singular goal, to find his best friend. When Victor stepped into the large hall, he was presented with a choice. Go left or go right, Victor pondered, as the monsters in the hall tried to claw at his flesh. Having slain the last enemy, Victor made a choice and took the wrong path. Running through the corridor, Victor noticed the body of a hunter. Victor kept calm and carried on.
Coming up to another intersection, Victor continued forward. Apparently lost, Victor realized that he had taken the wrong turn and decided to go back. Going in the wrong direction, Victor miraculously arrived at the entrance to the lower sections of the crypt. Being a good sport, however, 